hands so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my... So, starting to look good. A little bit more detail just here and there, but overall I'm quite happy with the way that sky has worked out. Um, I'm going to add just some detail to the tops of these clouds here because it's generally the tops tend to be a little bit harder than the undersides that are much softer. And um, then we'll move on to the water below. So now sort of moving on to the water, I'm using a tree and no, it's not. No, no. Tell a lie. It's a Coma brush, series 2230, size 3 8 It's a nice soft brush, and you have the reason it's called a Coma is because it looks like a comb. And I'm just going to put in some of the darker areas within the painting here. And one of the good things about using this brush is it really does give you that that look of ripples on the water. It's also quite good for doing grass and things like that. Not anything that has a, a uh, sort of look of a, you know, because if you look, what it does is it gives you lots of lots of lines. Now we're not doing it quite like that at the moment. I'm holding the brush more on the horizontal and doing lines this way, but it's it's actually uh, very good for what we're currently doing. So I'm just picking out the darker areas where I feel they should be, and then we'll go in with a slightly lighter blue. It's not quite black this, it's um, ivory black mixed with some cobalt blue. And as I say, I'm not going over the whole the whole thing, just certain certain areas where it's clearly that bit darker. And I shall continue over the whole area where I can see the darker points before I then move on to uh, adding some lighter parts. Okay, so now I'm going to add some of these very bright highlights here where the, the moon is just catching the surface of the water. And I'm going to do that with titanium white and a small amount of cadmium yellow and cadmium orange. So just a little bit of interest here. For those of you that are wondering how to get that really light color over the top of the dark there, try and imagine that you're picking up with the brush something of, a, of an ink consistency. 
So it's quite watery, but you're able to pick up a big drip on the edge or the end of the brush. This is a series 771 rigger brush, and we're picking up a drip and we're putting that drip on the panel. So we're putting a lot on, but it's actually quite thin. And that is the way that I'm able to get such a bright color over the top of that dark background. Well, here we go. It's finished, apart from I haven't signed it yet. Um, a very simple, but I think effective uh, moon scene. But I hope you enjoyed that lesson. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Oh, before I forget, actually, the panel. We were um, reviewing the panel in the last video and I didn't finish my review. So I'm gonna say, out of all the panels I've tried, this is by far the best. I would give it a definite 10 out of 10. Um, there's nothing about it that I don't like. So have a look online. Uh, I don't think they're too expensive. I'm not actually sure of the price, but I'll, I'll leave a link down below for you to check out. Um, but yeah, very good, I'll be using those again. Um, Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Hit that like button, subscribe, click on the bell thing, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.